Hi. Today I want to talk about the 2021 Sandy Lane Carignan. So, the Sandy Lane Carignan comes from Contra Costa County. For folks who are not familiar with that appellation, it is located about 50 miles east of the San Francisco Bay Area. This is a truly unique area that I've had the opportunity to work with for about 15 years. So I'm, I'm very familiar with the vineyards out there. Um, these vines in particular are very special. This vineyard was planted in the late 1880s, early 1890s. The vineyards in Contra Costa County are grown in pure sand. It looks like walking on a beach. The vines are own rooted, meaning they weren't grafted. They're dry farmed, meaning in 130 years, these vines have never been watered. And they're head trained. They're like little zin bushes. They're not up on wire, they're not trellised. They're just little plants that were planted 130 years ago and have been thriving ever since. There was a large Italian immigrant population in Contra Costa County in the late 1800s. And the majority of the fruit at that time was actually being put on trains and being sent back to the East Coast. These vines have had an incredible lifespan because they were not subject to the phylloxera epidemic because the phylloxera root louse cannot survive in sand. It's an inhospitable environment for this root louse. And so as a result, these vines have withstood the test of time. Carignan is an important varietal for Ridge. Um, we see Carignan interplanted in all of our old vine vineyards. So at Lytton West, Lytton East with our Geyserville vineyards. We'll see Zinfandel, Carignan, Mataro, Alicante Boucher, um, all interplanted. So Carignan is a very important part of this field blend because it contributes acidity, which is so important for a successful wine. Now this is 100% Carignan. Oh, it's so pretty. So for me, Contra Costa County always has these kind of rustic characteristics. You get a little bit of like black tea, pipe tobacco, a little cherry pie. And the beautiful acidity comes not only from the varietal Carignan, but from being grown in the sand as well. The sand influences the acidity. Gorgeous. Really beautiful toasty oak nose. Nice little cherry pie. There's that beautiful black tea pipe tobacco. This wine is so pretty. It's got all of these, I almost call them like cowboy characteristics because they're rustic and they're kind of salt of the earth. This is a wine that you should seek out. It's not going to taste like every other wine you've ever had. It's a very unique tasting profile and it's really uniquely Contra Costa. We are honored to work with these grapes and preserving old vineyards, especially out in Contra Costa, is something that we're very passionate about. So continue to seek out wines from Contra Costa and specifically this one. Cheers.